drop them off and we're ready to talk to you. Arguably the best trio on Twitch. These three have great chemistry together. They're using their streaming event called Boys Unite to bring their audiences together and producing some pretty entertaining content. But everything seemed to be going real good until the unthinkable happened. Despite their long-standing acquaintanceships and numerous collaborations in the past, Bruce Drop em Off had a lot of things to get off his chest towards Kai and Raven. At the end of the day, what the f all for, chat? Money. I don't give a f y'all niggas think I'm lame. That's y'all internet perception of me. Y'all the niggas don't know me in real life, bruh. I can talk real because I ain't got shit to hide. These niggas is scripting shit and hiding shit. Before we get into recent events, I have to give you guys a quick recap of how we got here. In late April, Bruce hit a million subscribers on YouTube. That same night, he joins a Discord called Rakai and Rage. And to his surprise, DDG is added to the call, with the two going back and forth live on stream. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. I don't give a f if one of the niggas, any of the niggas in your chat, listen to my song ever. I don't give a f about what does that have to do with niggas. anything? I'm just letting you know. What does that have to do with anything? Like, I don't give a f you said it's a lot of niggas in here that's not gonna like that. Bro, no, I'm not talking about those niggas. I'm too. not talking about these streaming niggas. You I'm talking about real life. Like you mm. talking about nigga. Mm. You know mm. who. You know who. In your radio no, radio nigga, radio. the niggas that know where your studio at. Fast forward, Bruce gets banned on Twitch on May 3rd and takes a break from streaming. On May 31st, Bruce announced that he has signed an exclusive streaming deal with the up and coming platform. Kit. Oh, it's Upon exclusive? News, many streamers I didn't know if it was a full exclusive. Kai, who called it a great move. Look, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Shit, if he feel like this is the right move, it's the right move, okay? For him personally, this is a great move. Um, if he wants, if he wants to be. Also, look, he's doing a great business. He do not get banned off any other platform. Bruce's first stream was the following day, and he took the time out to air out a lot of his thoughts. He spoke on how he felt about DDG mentioning him again in the song, even after they settled their differences, later saying that he felt like his... Yeah, that was the thing. He re-talked about it again. Content ...and called it annoying. Everyone who watches Bruce knows that he's not afraid to keep it real, even when it comes to his friends. So him saying these things is not out of the ordinary. I seen a diss. Of course I seen a diss. No, of course. Does it matter? No. <laughs> no. On God, you could bring Michael Jackson up from the grave, and I'm still not listening to that his music. That <laughs> name is big for now. He doesn't have no name. I'm giving you no name. You have no name. You know who I'm talking to. You're a nigga. Stop talking about me. Dang. The fact that my friends was gassing that, and the thing is, if they're my friends, then I feel like they should start, like, they should know, like, that isn't really that cool. It could also lead into problems that don't need to be even like a problem you feel me just because of content that's not content content has been dead and you have been gassing the lamest here the lamest the internet ain't real no more that's one of the reasons why i went to kick i started doing monkey and being toxic nowadays you can't even say what you want to say no more because oh, oh, oh i don't want to uh, that and all these I'm like, oh you want to kick so racist uh, uh, uh. i don't give a about that on June 6th, Bruce hops on a Bro, I keep on forgetting how many times they have to audience. mute him cussing. Sort of to his chat That's why I'm laughing. Weird vibes he's been feeling about the people that he considers to be his friends. Every time Aiden name come up, they do some little malicious shit with their face, bro. That's not being friends, bro. Every time you come to me, bro, it is for some content shit. That is not a friendship shit. That's not a friendship at all, bro. That's content. Every time you talk, the boys, the boys, the boys. Don't send little slick shots about niggas and then congratulate them and then want to do content after that. That's not how shit work, bro. And I'm just keeping this shit all the way real. If anybody feel a way, hit my phone. Hit my phone. No, I've been taking this shit, bro. No. Them niggas green is... I, I will tell that shit. I've been saying it. I've been hitting at it. Y'all know that. It's not LYG. Me and Ray, I, I've been on Rage longer, bro. We And it's not LK neither. It's just L content creation, bro. L content creation. L, L fucking only wanting to call people when it's for content. Clips of this rant gained a lot of reactions from viewers and followers. A lot of people even said Bruce's comments were driven by ego and not even genuine concerns. Not long after, Kai Sinet and Your Rage reacted to Bruce's rant on stream, confused as to where this came from, and hinted at Boys Night potentially being canceled. I don't think that the boy shit is a thing that niggas want to do. Like, I generally don't think that the boy shit is something that niggas want to do genuinely. So, I don't think y'all should expect that, that shit. I, honestly, I don't think y'all should, like, expect it. I'm gonna just go ahead and be blunt with y'all niggas, bro. Like, just toss that shit out the window, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I'm getting the energy that niggas don't want to do it. I don't want it to be real and shit. I'll call Bruce off stream so he can kind of see, like, what he's trying to really say and, like, how he want to get out his words and shit. You feel what I'm saying? But if that's what he's on, like, if he don't want to do that, he, it's fine. I'm not, he, he don't got to. No, I've been taking.
faking this shit, bro. No. It's a green. Them green is. I would tell that shit. I've been saying it. I've been hitting at it. Y'all know that. I don't need to sit this whole shit, bro. Like when I say I'm ready to confess that, I'm so confused. Walk it like it's just miscommunication. I feel like. I feel like it's miscommunication. Cause I, I don't think Kai has Kai don't have no bad intentions and Bruce don't have no bad intentions. And he's getting the wrong vibe, I guess. It's just mis 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 miscommunication. I'm so got the energy to go back and forth, bro. That shit is whack. That's why I've been so mad at you. Oh yeah. Garbage, bro. Oh yeah. He can't speak. He can't speak. Now let's talk about the biggest instigator in this situation, Aiden Raw. Aiden has been trying to assume Nah, he he was instigating. I, I ain't gonna lie. He, he was slightly instigating. I shall speak. Aiden, who was essential in getting Bruce on kick, tried to bait Kai into saying something controversial yeah. in the stream, offering fifty thousand dollars to his community. Your rage responded and secured that money for himself for after he signs with Kick. If that does happen. Bruce would join in on this trolling, taking shots at both Kick and Kai, pretty much calling Kai a slave to the platform. The memes I saw on this were just insane. Kai responded to all this on his stream. How, bro? Like how? I'm not even Nigga, I'm a free, I can do whatever I want. How? It's my choice doing it. Nigga just saying masa masa like I'm somebody's slave or some shit, bro. Like Did he say masa? I don't understand it. Like trying to little bro me on the internet right now in front of 70,000 niggas, bro. Like bro, y'all niggas is my friends, bro. Like what is y'all niggas doing? Y'all choking right now. As my mans, bro, and the love I got for y'all niggas, bro, don't try to be a spaz. Don't try to bait me into saying some shit so niggas could be on my ass. That's you, gang. That's not me. That's you. Let it be you, and that's you. Bruce was streaming around the same time that Kai was streaming, so he addressed his points directly, bringing up how his friends had allowed DDZ to disrespect him. Niggas been disrespecting me, trying to little bro me for the longest, and niggas want to talk about, oh, why well, I feel like little nigga, why well, I feel like people trying to little bro me. What? <laughs> what? Y'all been, you've been allowing your friend to talk bad about me. I'll never let a nigga talk bad about my friend who I hang around. That's the boys. Lame ass, that's Tell lame me. ass shit. You niggas can't call a spade for a spade, bro. This past Wednesday, Kai, Aiden, Rage, and Bruce all attended Game 3 of the NBA Finals in Miami, sitting on opposite sides of the court. Nobody talked. We sat across from each other. We sat across from each other, chat. Niggas, niggas couldn't even look our way. Josh looked our way. Niggas couldn't even look our way, bro. We didn't even look our way. And we put everybody in a group. Yeah, chat. I was about to say Jermaine. They said they already had eight before, so they weren't hungry. I wasn't sure about yeah. I wasn't sure about them eating before. It's not it's nothing crazy though. I wasn't sure about them eating before, but uh, I saw the vlog. I was watching your ages vlog uh, earlier today, and they did they did eat before. I ain't gonna lie, but I mean at the same time they're not forced to go. It could be scripted content with somebody possibly. I don't think it's scripted. With Kick, but I highly doubt that Bruce will stoop this low and make himself look like a hypocrite. Based on everything, I still think there may be some tension. I just hope they all come together and settle their differences for the community. The last thing we need is division when everybody eating. It just really makes no sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's Fargo, and I'm out, man. I think. Uh, oh, I already liked it. Okay. I think when it comes to this situation. It's genuinely not something that needs to be handled. Public, I mean, obviously, uh, I'm not saying the solution of it being handled public. This is just my take on it, okay? I'm not choosing sides or nothing. You can only look at it from the point of views that they all talked about. So, Bruce, you know, Kai Rage, you know what I'm saying? I just think it was just, from looking at Bruce's point of view, he was talking about that he thinks it's just, L content, he just kept on feeling like he was getting brought up only for DYK. I could understand that because literally DYK's live stream was, I forgot how long ago. So obviously the people are just going to keep on saying when is DYK going to come together again when they're seeing all three of them live, but they're all doing their own different thing. You got to realize they're all different streamers at the end of the day. They're not forced to do that ish together. But I guess just Bruce was just feeling annoyed with all the stuff that he was having to deal with and then every five seconds possibly how he was putting it was only getting mentioned for dyk when he just wanted to you know actually have a real friendship behind it i would want to have a friendship if i was in a group like that you know what i'm saying this fargo dude has been he swear he's really been i need to subscribe to him he's really been all over my freaking uh stuff let me see have i watched i watched this one and then yeah i watched this infamous scammer video i was like what yeah, this dude has been going crazy. I can't, I can't even hate this fool. He's been in his duffy. Good video though. Good video, I must say. But when it comes to, yeah, exactly. When it comes to DYK, I think, 
I was going to say, I think the internet needs to get out, you know, not try to force their hands and stuff, but the internet's going to be the internet at the end of the day. There's folks that say the most offensive jokes and all that stuff. Basically, me, basically what I'm saying is the internet's just going to be the internet, so we really just got to let them three either decide to solve it behind the scenes, and we'll only be able to tell just by, you know what I'm saying, if we see them, you know, still talking and all that stuff. I think Kanye Rage are going to be more, I mean, they're they're already seeming more like a duo, more and more as I see them together. But it's really just on Bruce and Kai. That's how it seems like to me. But they said that uh, Bruce actually pulled up to that pool party uh, that AMP was ha- uh, hosting. So hopefully, you know what I'm saying, slightly is getting, you know, better. But we can only hope the best. Especially, you know what I'm saying, when you couple their, unbra- <laughs> their unbreakable duo facts. And so is Bruce and your rage. I know Bruce even said that he knows them longer, but I think Bruce is just doing his own. He's always been the type from when I started watching him last year when I was working at Lowe's. What was it? I think I started following him in May. I started following him in May, but I started watching him in January of last year. But Bruce seems more like he just be doing his own thing and having fun and all that stuff. So he doesn't really need anyone else, but it's fun seeing when they're all together. But yeah, I mean now he has Aiden. But I ain't got, I ain't got nothing against none of them. They're all eating. It's just more like I just want to see all three of them. Uh, just solve their different. They don't even have to do content together. You know what I'm saying? Like all three of them, they don't have to do content together. Uh, at all. It's just more like when the W and L streamers, other than Aiden Ross, all of them. I'm talking about like on Twitch slash Kick side of things. So I was about to mention uh, Speed, but he's, like, in his own lane. I can't even lie. When it comes to them, it's just, like, bro, it's all black people, black kings, I want to say, at the top. So we don't want, you know what I'm saying, us, we don't, from my point of view, I don't want to see no, you know, split splitting up when it comes to, you know, black kings making their own money, making millions, and, you know what I'm saying, showing that there's more than just freaking either A being an NBA player or B being a thug on the streets. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing against people that choose those lifestyles. You know, they're raised like that and stuff. But, like, just showing that there's more to life than just two things. But, yeah, we need Aiden back with them. That's literally just how I see it. I don't want to see a division between uh, black men getting their money. Thugs. Dang thugs. (laughs) Yeah, but... Uh, JV on Fargo, yo, good stuff, bro. Good stuff. So it's no secret that the.